YouTube, it's your guy Barry High, and today we're going to be installing the emergency lighting system as well as this Chevy Corvette C7 widebody that is also an ELS compatible vehicle. We also throw on an engine sound and we get some brighter lights, better lights with another script called Better Radiance version 3. All the tutorial stuff is going to be at the end of this here gameplay, but before we get started with the installations and all the technicalities, let's go ahead and test out everything. Let's hop into the C7 widebody and hear that custom Corvette engine sound. Okay, so another cool feature about uh, ELS is you can get this pretty cool uh, information panel. So if I hold the left control and hit P, boom, we got a little interface, a little control panel down there. It's going to give us all the info as far as what pattern we're on, what phase we're on. So let's go ahead and check that out. Another thing that Better Radiance does is it makes it easier or it just makes seeing lights as far as the daytime goes a lot easier a lot more noticeable so let's go ahead and hit that service first stage okay now here's another thing we can do if you'll notice where it says sec it's on pattern number eight <laughs> there are hundreds of patterns so if i hit i on the keyboard it's going to change to pattern nine and pattern 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20. it goes on and on and on and on there's so many different variations and each stage has other variations like this too okay let's move on to the second stage okay once again you'll notice a wigwag we got going on there let's go ahead <clears throat> and uh, we can hit you on our keyboard to change this pattern Like there's so many different patterns and yes uh, they are a lot more noticeable in the daytime with better radiance but I'm not too keen on uh, how bright the headlights and tail lights are there are three different optional types of better radiance you can use it uses a visual settings data file um, there is one that is specifically for daytime lights I have installed the normal version. So that's what you're seeing here is just the normal version. Now let's go ahead and we're going to check out stage three, code three. Whoa, whoa. All right, here's our stage three. Oh, you notice how the PRM setting also changes when the siren's on. Oh, that's cool. So let's go ahead and hit U on our keyboard. That's going to change the PRM uh, for the third stage lighting. Okay. Not bad. I like this one, actually. Now, I do know that the WRN setting you can change by hitting O. And what that does, I have no idea. Radiance. Let's take a look at what this looks like at night. Get it dark. Let's get a little dark up in here. So we're gonna go to night. I mean, that's not really night enough. Here we go. Evening. Let's go ahead and hit those lights. Okay, we got our, our service lights there. They're pretty dang bright. There's always something just blowing up somewhere though. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, so there you go. That's how we do it. That's how it's done. Now let's move on to the tutorial section. Hey, what's up guys? We're gonna get right into it. Let's go ahead and install the emergency lighting system. We're also gonna install a vehicle that uses that lighting system. Then we're gonna brighten things up a bit by altering the lighting. And then we also have a Chevy Corvette Camaro engine sound. Now these last two are optional, but we're gonna install those as well. Let's start with the meat and potatoes. We're going to start with emergency lighting system by Lieutenant Kane. Now we're also going to be using open four for this video. 
So just bear in mind, get everything ready if you haven't already. And if you have not installed any kind of LSPDFR, you don't even know how to mod GTA 5. Well, I've got tutorials to how to mod GTA 5 as well as install LSPDFR. So let's begin this tutorial. Links for everything are down in the description. I've got all the files downloaded here. We're going to start with ELS. I've got it here on the top right. We're just going to locate our main GTA 5 directory. And I'm going to go to my C drive, wherever it is you have yours saved. Then I'm going to locate program files. And I've got mine on Epic Games. So that's where I'm going. GTA 5. And here we're in our main directory. Now all you need to do inside of your ELS download, go ahead and click on the installation files folder, GTA 5. And all you want to do is select everything in here and drag it straight into your main GTA 5 directory. Once you've done that, you can take a look inside of your ELS folder here and then click on pack default. This is where you'll be placing all of your ELS files, your lighting information files for each vehicle. And if you go back and take a look at the ELS configuration settings file, the INI, you can, you can customize what buttons or keys on your keyboard do what but i will include a link to some virtual key codes you'll see that those same numbers correspond to letters on the keyboard and now what we need since we have els installed is we need an els compatible vehicle now if we go our, to our c7 file and you click on that c7 folder you're going to be presented with a whole lot of stuff let's go ahead and look into that els folder in here, you'll see this FBI XML, or there's an alternative pattern. We're going to stick with whatever this FBI one is. And inside of our main GTA 5 main directory here, we're going to click on the ELS folder, pack default. And this is where we're going to drag and drop that FBI XML. All righty. <clears throat> inside of our download for the Corvette, we're going to go to the Corvette wide body. This is the part where we're going to install the vehicle using Open 4. So let's minimize our GTA 5 main directory. Let's maximize open four just like so. And I'm going to go to my main directory in open form. From here, I'm going to locate my mods folder, update X64 DLC packs. And I'm using my latest, the latest patch day that I have installed. Use whatever your latest and most up to date patch day folder is. Open that up, click DLC.RPF x64 levels gta5 vehicles at rpf and this is where we're going to place our corvette wide body now click on the corvette wide body folder inside of inside of your archive and we have right these three files they're going to replace the fib vehicle and we have our 3d model and two uh textures and we're going to drag those out to somewhere on my desktop just so I can get them extracted like I've done here. And then I'm going to dry, drag and drop them into open for like so. Make sure edit mode is enabled if you have not. I'm going to enable edit mode. And then we can drag in these FIB or FBI files. You can take a look at it. Go ahead. Click on the FBI.YTF. And there you go. We have our C7 Corvette. If I hold control and hit the middle, middle, middle mouse wheel, we can zoom in. Okay, cool. Now that we have our vehicle installed, now we need to give it some proper handling. So it's not doing cartwheels, flips, and gymnastic tricks all up and down the street when you're trying to bust apart. You know what I mean? So inside of our C7 archive download, let's back up and go to Superfix Handling folder. Click on that. And here we're gonna click on this click on me copy paste document. And we're gonna hold control A, copy everything in here. Okay, if we take a look at the top, you'll see that the vehicle is gonna be recognized as a Banshee. It will have the Banshee handling, but it is a law enforcement vehicle. So what we wanna do is we want to find our vehicle's meta. All right, and what we wanna do to find our vehicle's meta is, I believe we're gonna go to, uh, okay, our mods and open four, update, update.rpf, common data, levels, 
GTA 5. Vehicles dot meta. Oof, I'm glad I figured that out. First try. We're gonna enable we're going to enable edit mode and open four. Hit yes. Right click vehicles dot meta and hit edit. We're now gonna look for FBI. One thing I do is I'm gonna type capital N A lowercase A lowercase M E forward carrot and then FBI. It's gonna take me straight to the top of the FBI item. Let's go ahead and inside of open fours editor we're going to select the first item tag and we're going to scroll down holding down the left click on our mouse and we're going to scroll down to this very last item tag and you'll know you're at the end when you see uh forward slash first person drive by data and then another item with a forward slash okay that's a closing item we're just going to hit backspace boom and then uh, <clears throat> let's make sure we have everything copied from our text file. Go back into the editor and paste it in. Okay, we've pasted that in. It's got all the proper flags. Awesome, great news. Now let's go up here, okay? And let's take a look where it says audio name hash. Now it's gonna play the audio for the engine of the dominator but what we want to do now is we want to install our c7 engine sound let's take a look at our sound so inside of open for my vehicles meta i'm going to save this real quick for now we're going to save it and if we look at our engine sound here we're going to click on the single player folder inside of that archive and here we go. We can either run it straight from this folder here. We don't have to have Open4 running to use an Open4 package installer. I'm just going to extract it to uh, somewhere on my desktop real quick. And with Open4, I'm going to click on Tools, Package Installer, and I'm going to look for that uh, Corvette uh, Open4 document on our desktop. So let's go ahead and locate that. It is right here. Chevrolet Corvette Camaro LT4 engine sound. Click open. And that's going to give us this prompt to click install. We'll put it in our mods folder and click install once again. <clears throat> and that is going to create the DLC list entry as well as install the DLC pack in our DLC folders for us. Let's go ahead and close that out. And now we're going to find out what the DLC pack name is. So I've already created a shortcut for my DLC lists, but if you don't know how to get there, we'll do it again. Mods, update, X64 DLC packs, then go up to your favorites here in open four, click add to favorite, and then hit save or add. Now, here we go. We have our Chevrolet LT4. What I'm going to do is right click make sure your edit mode is still enabled i'm going to right click and hit f uh, or rename and then i'm going to right click and copy that now i'm going to hop in to my mods folder again inside of open four we're going to go to our mods folder update update.rpf common data click on levels gta5 and we have our vehicles.meta. Right click and hit edit. Now we're going to look for our FBI once again. Here we have our FBI handling that we custom installed. Here's our audio name hash for the dominator. Let's go ahead, highlight that, and then paste in our DLC engine sound and hit save. All right. Now we can move on to the Better Radiance version three. Now I don't know what this is gonna sound like look like feel like if it's gonna draw too much tpu if it's gonna decrease frame rate let's give it a shot this is optional but this is for the sake of science we're gonna open up these folders here recommended radiance taxi train bus and subway brightness fix we're just gonna play around with the normal one or we'll just say uh yeah we'll just do normal you know we're just gonna do normal we got our visual settings dot dat file we need to get to our data folder here inside of open four. Okay, we just went up a level from the levels 
Let's make sure our visual settings file is right here. So we're in our update, update.rpf common data folder, visual settings. Here's what I'm going to do to make sure that if I don't like what's there, I'm going to make sure I can uh, revert back to the original settings. I'm just going to literally drag the visual settings at that file out to my desktop or place it in a folder of my choosing. I'm just going to drag it over here, put it in my open for a backup folder. There you go. Now we have a backup of our original visual settings. We can now move forward and install this uh, better radiance. Here we go. All right, I'm going to drag better radiance and extract it somewhere onto my desktop like so. Now we have our visual settings here. I'm going to drag it straight into open for edit mode is enabled. Bam. We've just replaced our visual settings dot that. And that's going to do it. We've installed ELS, an ELS capable video uh, vehicle, better radiance and a Corvette sound. I hope this helps you out. Links are down in the description. If you have trouble following the tutorial, just hit the timestamps, hit pause, take a deep breath and leave some comments down in the description. I'm your guy very high and until the next video for GTA 5, I hope you learned something. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Stay safe, stay dangerous and uh, don't get caught. Peace.